Hey guys, it's Madame Morio. I am playing as Pinky today in Animal Crossing City Folk New Pimp. And we are playing nighttime for bug catching. Um, so yeah, in the game it's a little after 10, it's about a quarter after, which is my favorite time to catch bugs and, in my opinion, the ideal time to catch bugs. Why is Tiffany at my house? Uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and show off Pinky's house. As I said I would make it, it is sweets theme. So, um, I want the whole house to be kind of themed after food and designer stuff. So I want it to all be designer or, you know, food related. I think that would be really cute. Like, I thought for the upstairs maybe to have like a little restaurant looking type place or something. But, uh, yeah, this is it. And I've got my chef outfit. I've got the outfit I originally came to town in. And I just love this closet and this couch. Those are my two, like, favorite things. I still have some more of the sweets collection to get. Like, I need to get the table and, um, the chair. And I could get, like, the sideways, like, this, um, sideways, like, bureau. But it's really expensive. So I think I'm just going to wait to get all the final sweet stuff, this little lamp that could go on this table too, until after um, it goes on sale, because I kind of like the way this looks now, just as is. Uh, and I want to add an upstairs kind of now. It's only been like three days, but whatever. Anyway, I've babbled on long enough. Um, I wanted to show this letter off too that I got. Thank you for purchasing Fozy Farm Seeds. To show our gratitude, we are sending you this gift. Enjoy. Um, and the gift is a silver can. So um, if you purchase 50 seed bags from Nooks, you get the silver watering can. So right now, Pinky has all the silver stuff because I gave her the silver shovel too. Um, but anyway, let's get to bug catching because if you haven't guessed already, that is what I'm going to compare today. Bug, fish, and fossil feature of all three games. Um, all three Animal Crossings, that is. Here you can see how many flowers I've bought. <laughs> They're kind of just surrounding Pinky's house. I need to get to this side, but, you know. Anyway, um, so this is the ideal time for bug catching because the scorpions and tarantulas aren't out yet. They don't come out until about midnight. At least I haven't seen them until then. Um, and... Yeah, like, it's just, like, a really good time because you don't have to mess with that. And there are a ton of bugs on these palm trees, like this guy right here. You have to walk super duper slow at night, though. My god, everything wants to fly away from you. And we got the elephant beetle, which I think sells for, like, 10,000 bells. If you fill up your pockets with bugs and, like, time skip to daytime when you can sell them, you get like 50,000 or more, um, you know, well, depending on what kind of bugs you catch. If you catch all those, you're going to get more than that, but um, you can get so much money from catching bugs, and, you know, for me, it's more entertaining to catch bugs than fish, as I have pointed out many, many times, so if you're a bug catcher like I am, uh, go for it. Um... So anyway, yeah, when you get here, you have to, like, just barely push on your nunchuck um, control stick or else you'll go running and scaring everything, which I've done far too many times on accident. Uh, which brings me to my first complaint about Animal Crossing City Folk and uh, their bug catching display. By the way, I planted a whole bunch of um, new orange trees to where the old apple trees were. Anyway, um, <laughs> I felt like a sound effect was necessary there. In Animal Crossing for GameCube, and I believe in Wild World as well, if you held down A and then walked, you would sneak around when you had your net out. There was a sneak feature so you wouldn't walk fast. You'd walk really, really slowly so you'd be able to catch the bug. Um, in this, they took that out, and I think I pointed this out once before, but I'll go ahead and say it again. I, um, 
I know they're bringing it back for Animal Crossing 3DS, and I believe they must have just taken it out of this game to make it more challenging. That's really all I can come up with. I don't think there was a bug on that tree, but oh well. Um, so, yeah, I... I mean, if you look at the list of bugs... Where is it? Here. Um, I, th I believe it's way, way longer in this game than any of the other games. Oops. And, um... Fish... Fish? I don't know. I feel like looking in the guide there aren't as many fish, but, you know... I, I feel like they just added more... I don't know. I'm probably wrong with that because I don't fish very much, but... Um, I feel like they just added a ton of more bugs and fish, which I think is kind of weird that they took the sneak feature out if they're going to add, you know, three times as many bugs in this game as were in other games. Granted, some of them are really easy to catch, but the challenging ones to catch, it's just like, it gets to be annoying. Um, I don't know. But, I mean, you get used to it. You get used to sneaking around like a bimbo and... Um, you know, barely pressing on your controller, but regardless, it's quite a job. If, yeah, Rainbow Stag! Rainbow Stag is worth a lot of money. Um, so yeah, this is why this is the best time to catch bugs. Keep in mind, these little bugs right here, they're like fruit beetles. If it's green, it's only worth a hundred bells. Like, that's really cheap. It'll try and trick you. If it's yellow, it's worth 6,000. So, um, yeah, keep your eyes out for the yellow versions of those bugs. Uh, which I believe they will fly away more easily. So anyway. I've been trying to plant more pine trees, too, in this town. Um, just because I think that... Well, I don't know this for a fact, but I feel like some bugs appear on palm trees. <laughs> Not palm trees, I'm saying the wrong name. Pine trees. Um, more than just regular trees or fruit trees. Aw, Clyde became a member of Gryffindor. How cute. Um, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Oh, well. So anyway, in GameCube version, there was the sneak feature, but the only bad thing about it was I feel like it was harder to find bugs in the... Um, GameCube version. Why don't we just go to the museum and I'll show some, some of these bugs off right now anyway. Um, which is probably why I didn't get as into it in that. Um, and then Wild World, I feel it's like kind of the same thing as GameCube version. It's like really similar. There are more bugs, but it's just harder to find them in my opinion. Plus it's a smaller screen, so these tiny little bugs are really hard to sight. Uh, or they can be. Um, as for, uh, fishing, I pretty much don't like the fishing feature really that much in any game. I probably can tolerate it most in GameCube version. Um, if, yeah, there's that elephant beetle. Um, I think. Oh, Hercules beetle. That's the biggest one that's worth like 12,000, I think. I don't know, Golden Stag is worth a lot too, but I haven't caught one of those yet. Uh, this is worth a lot, the Goliath Beetle. They're all like 8,000 plus bells. Here's the difference. There's the green one and there is the yellow one. Um, 100 versus 6,000. So these are all worth about like between like 1,200 and 3,000. Um, so it's nice to pick those up. Um, so yeah, anyway. I feel like the fishing feature just kind of bored me in all versions of the game. I would probably like it, say I like it in GameCube version best because I feel like uh, it didn't take as long, kind of, even though it probably did take a while. It still felt to me like it didn't take as long. Um, and there are less fish, so it was easier to accomplish that and get really, really into it. Um, plus you have like the island and everything, which was really cool. Um, so, yeah. Whoa, big fish! Um, so I'm I'm not really that far with fishing. I mean, I've caught a decent amount, I guess, but not anything miraculous or big, um, amount-wise. 
So, uh, moving on to the fossil feature of the game, as you all know who have played the GameCube version, you had to send away these stupid letters with a fossil in it to this organization where they checked the fossil and figured out what it was, which was probably the most annoying feature they could have had in the game. Yet it was extremely addictive. Um, well, maybe you shouldn't say brown noser to begin with Rosie. Uh, the thing is that in GameCube version you could find three fossils a day and they were like really easy to find. In Wild World version, same thing. Three fossils a day, they were pretty easy to find. You're out of luck. Mmm, I told you. Whatever, I don't care. Why don't you pick your own catchphrase? Thank you. Uh, anyway. And in this version, three fossils a day? Uh, difficult to find. I can hardly ever find three fossils a day in this version. Um, so as far as fossils go, the easiest fossil feature to deal with, I feel like, is the GameCube, or not GameCube, the uh, Wild World version. That's probably got the best fossil feature. You can find three a day no matter what, and they are pretty easy to find, and you don't have to send away for them. You just have to um, go to the museum and have what's-his-face blathers check, just like in this game. Um, so, you know, as far as convenience goes, GameCube's definitely the worst. But I feel like at the same time, like, that's the thing I got most into on GameCube version was fossils. Probably because they were a little easier to find, there were less of them, it was just like, I don't know, sending those letters just kind of got into routine, like, where it wasn't a big deal, but it still, I'll say it was annoying. Um, and then, you know, you had fossils every day to either sell or... Um, keep or donate or whatever was appropriate for the day. So it was really nice in that respect, but just the whole send away for this to check was ridiculous. I'm really glad they changed that. That was like the my least favorite thing about that, obviously. Um, so that's kind of how I feel about fossils. So when it comes to bugs, I like, I do like City Folk's bug feature the best. Um, I think it is the best because there are more bugs all over the place even though it doesn't have the sneak feature. I feel like it's just more fun uh, because there's so many more and um, you know I guess it is a little challenging so that's fun. Um, when it comes to fish I like GameCube version best and when it comes to fossils I like Wild World version best so every single thing has its own you know feature. Every single game has its own feature I like best. Hopefully they'll have perfected all three of them for Animal Crossing 3DS. But, you know, I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. Um, so hopefully. What in the world? Okay, sorry if you hear that. Um, somebody's mowing the grass outside and it's like really loud because they like to be really loud and obnoxious outside my window when I start recording. They being the maintenance people. Um, so anyway. Uh, which I'm almost out of time as is, so I guess we'll just walk around and see if we can find anything up here. Uh, it, also note, if you go in somebody's house and come back out, the bugs will change, which you probably know this by now. But it's really good for hunting for those um, palm tree bugs that are worth the most money at night. So yeah, palm tree bugs, plant a lot of palm trees, um, because those bugs are worth the most, and they're pretty much all, you're guaranteed to see at least one at night. But remember, be super careful when walking up to the beach. Also, for those of you who can't plant a successful palm tree, somebody taught me this, one of my viewers taught me this. Um, for GameCube version and it works in this version too. If you go right up to the ocean, turn around, walk one, two, three steps and dig, that will be perfect. So three steps away from the ocean. Um, so yeah, that's Pinky the Bug Catcher since she's caught the most beetles because I always get on here with her to have her make the money since she goes after all the designer stuff. So. 
Uh, tomorrow we will be seeing Coconut for the first and last time, apparently. And, um, tomorrow I will be talking about another feature, um, comparison between all three Animal Crossings that are out so far. So this has been Madame Wario. Thanks for joining me again, guys, and see you tomorrow.